but moving on, uh, we have a gold medal match between uh, Jean-Charles uh, Valadon, who, uh, who was shooting off earlier in the mixed team round. Um, they got mowed over a bit by Moldova. Um, but I'm sure he'll uh, he'll, uh, he'll he'll come back strong. Uh, Met Gazos uh, uh, for Turkey as well. Uh, both these archers seeded one and two, uh, respectively. So um, these are the top guys of the event this week. Yes, um, yes, and, and they have been shooting great. Yeah. Uh, like I said, they found their way to the cream uh, well, top of the uh, top of the board. So um, who's uh, obviously you've got your money here, chef, on uh, Valadon. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm guessing that he's gonna pull this on uh, experience. But now, now I've seen Mete Gazos uh, shooting his mixed team final. I've, uh, I've slightly changed my mind. But him, he's he's shooting really well. So this is gonna be a, a good match yeah. for sure. I mean, you and uh, you and Naomi have both gone for Valadon. Um, yeah. Myself, I've gone uh, with Gazos, but. Uh, He's just an all-round very good archery. He shoots, uh, he shoots field, he shoots fila, and uh, he's even the world champion in field. He's just um, very, very experienced, and he has a lot of skill. And yeah. um, maybe uh, Gazos is gonna gonna take this on talent. We'll see. Good stuff. Look at him, young baby face Gazos there. <laughs> <laughs> he just seems to be happy enough to just be where he is. So I mean, I think. Um, I mean, the way uh, we've just seen Patrick there and embracing his uh, opportunity. Um, Gazos himself, however, has, uh, has arguably had a better week than uh, even Patrick. Um, Gazos had to fight his way to uh, to an Olympic spot as well on Friday. Which uh, he did. Which he did. He, uh, he beat Patrick in the semi-final, in yeah. fact. Um, and then, like I say, he's, uh, he shot in the mixed team earlier on. He's, uh, he's, had, uh, he's had a good week as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see... Uh, and like I say, Valadon didn't didn't shoot great earlier, in my opinion. Not as good as uh, Gazos. So interesting, uh, interesting match ahead. Nice yeah. ten to start off with. He uh, he struggled to find the middle earlier, but I think yeah. when he found it, he was there, wasn't he? So he was, I think he was, yeah. And with uh, individual finals, he'll have less of a time uh, pressure on it. Yeah, just out for meta. Would it be um, rude to say that his uh, his mind was possibly on this particular match earlier when he was uh, in the mixed team? Perhaps, but uh, we'll never know, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. If you ask him, uh, I don't think you'll get an honest answer. No, that's true. <laughs> uh, Gazo's a 10, he has to, uh, to tie up. Uh, that's fantastic. And he does. Good X. Very good 10. Seems happy. Good 10, good yeah. 10 yeah. Convincing shooting, man. This is going to be a close one, I think. <laughs> and a very extremely relaxed style mm. by uh, Casos. Which type of style do you prefer? Because uh, obviously Valadon there seemed... Uh, well, that's fantastic yeah. shooting, 29-29. A very good grouping by both. Well, you'd expect if you shoot 29 to, to at least... Well, you thought to win the set with the 29, but that's, uh, that's close. I mean, as I was saying, which style do you would you prefer, uh, Gazos' relaxed style or uh, if, Valadon's if I, aggressive style? So. If I could, I uh, I would choose uh, to shoot as relaxed as uh, Gazos does, but yeah. um, it's it's not for everybody, I think. And uh, if you're uh, such a relaxed shooter as he is, it's difficult to uh, to to keep aiming in the middle in the wind, and mm -hmm. it, it it brings some difficulties with it. But, yeah. Um, he seemed to shoot quite well in the wind the other day, though. So yeah, uh, yeah, he does. Second, so, um, so, like I said, he is extremely talented, and it's it's not for everybody to shoot like that. And uh, he uh, he handles it really, really well. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, he seems relaxed uh, in himself at the moment. Um, as, as I say, his mannerisms. He's, he's got a smile on his face. He's enjoying the moment. Um, and like I say, it just seems to be uh, that, that seems to be rubbing off in his shooting as well. You yeah. Know, his, yeah. His, uh, his, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but his happiness is is helping him shoot. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, so it sounds cheesy, but it's it's completely fair to say because yeah. it's it's just like that. Uh, when you're happy in in your daily life, your shooting gets better too. It's a it's simple math. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're into the second set. We saw a saw a high scoring first set. Let's see where we go from here. Had to steer it a bit, Fantastic, but it's yeah. completely in the middle. Yeah. 
Valadon has a very aggressive style of shooting, and there's a lot of tension. But mm -hmm. when he directs it well, it's uh, it's it's good either way. He's directed them all well so far. Yeah, he's taking his time a bit on this one, guys. Doesn't look happy. No. Right. That's the difference, I think. Uh, I think Valadon really works to get his arrow through the clicker, and Gazos kind of waits until mm -hmm. it gets to the clicker, and then he just like lets go of all tension. Nice. Not a bad shot, but it's just out. Yeah. Do you seem a little disappointed there? He seemed a little. Seemed to uh, knock his bow against his foot fairly aggressively. Is that that was? You don't think that was a bad uh, shot? I, I haven't seen that. So. A bit high. Yeah. Yeah. Nice ten. Tied up again. Both these archers only dropping two arrows in their five arrows so far. So this is uh, this is a real exhibition match. This nine, really I mean, fierce. Yeah, I mean uh, twenty-eight. It's good shooting, but Gazos here has an opportunity yeah, to uh, on fire. A ten here. He takes a set, takes the lead, and nine ties up. Taking his time. This is a nine. Ah, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Uh, we couldn't quite see that on the monitor, but it has been called a 10, confidently yeah. by George uh, yeah. with his scope. So Just on top of the X. Yeah, fantastic shooting. So 29-29, uh, and he has a 3-1 lead. Um, Valadon not shooting badly, 29-28. No, not at all. Um, arguably unlucky to, uh, to be two points back. But it's, uh, like I say, it's the, it's the relaxed, happy uh, Met Gazos who is, uh, who is leading this. Is he well known to be to be shooting well at the moment? I mean, like last year, was he, yeah. was he shooting well last year as well? Yeah, and he's he's grown a lot since last year, uh, physically and mentally. Yeah, uh, he he was already a good archer, and now he's a phenomenal archer, and uh, uh, we'll see what he does uh, in the in the coming year. Yeah, uh, so a force to be reckoned with in uh, in Rio, you think? Yes, yes, most definitely. The atmosphere is definitely uh, still high after the Patrick's match there. Um, we found um, yesterday and, then, and then arguably a little bit today after Britain uh, walked off the stage that it, it died down a little bit, but uh, people seem to have stuck around for this uh, finale here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and rightly so, I mean, the shooting between these two is, uh, is extremely high standard. Um, I think Valadon can consider himself slightly unlucky to be 3-1 down, but he's happy with that one, it is yeah. 10. He knew it was going to be in there. Mm -hmm. You just see it in his face. He grits his teeth, pumps yeah. his head every time he shoots a good shot. So you don't really see that on uh, Gazza's face. Uh, whether it's a 9 or a 10, it's just uh, still the same face. Yeah. But uh, a good, solid 10 from him there. I think Valadon is, uh, is quite pumped here. Yeah. Mm, oh. 9. The difference between a good phase and a disappointed phase is really small. <laughs> yeah. Guys, always an opportunity to uh, to maintain a lead here. Ten, yeah, fantastic he shooting. This is incredible. Two points dropped in however many arrows is incredible. He's on eight arrows, two points dropped so far. Yeah. Good yeah, ten, ten as well. Let's like, see if it helps him. I mean, yeah, Gazoz has, a, has an opportunity to take this set. Um, needs a 10. And Valadon would still consider himself unlucky if this goes in the 10. There's an 8? I can't see if that catches the line. Yeah, I know. This is, uh, that was this, unexpected. Yeah, this could be a bit of a turning point uh, in the match. Uh, if, if that's a 9, it's tied and it's 4-2. It's um, if it's an 8... Uh, Valadon has taken uh, taken a set back, tying the scores up at the uh, three all. So um, we'll wait for confirmation on that. Um, George hasn't, uh, in fact, called the arrow confidently as yet. So um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But uh, Valadon, I think, um, I think the fact that uh, Jean Charles was so disappointed with the nine is because he knew that uh, Gazos was is able to shoot yeah. a thirty. So normally it would be perfectly fine shooting a nine, but now he was disappointed because it's dangerous for him to shoot yeah, a nine at this that point. Makes sense, yeah. It is, and it shouldn't be dangerous to shoot nines. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good for the sport. Yeah, that's, it uh, is that's great for sure. For I mean, is this the kind of standard that you expect in uh, in sort of World Cup finals, or, or or are they shooting better than most people expect? 
this is similar, I think. So uh, if you shoot a World Cup final, this is this is what you have to take into account. So you have to know that your opponent is going to shoot tens a lot. Okay, good stuff. Well, uh, that just pr proves that we've got world uh, world class uh, shooters shooting here now. And uh, that uh, arrow to confirm was uh, upgraded to a nine for uh, Gazoz. So uh, he did uh, tie that set up luckily with that final arrow. Uh, Valadon, it's got to be. He's got to feel unlucky. He's only dropped three, four points in this match. Four points in this yeah. match, and he's losing 4-2. Uh, Nine, just A little out. slow after the clicker. Yeah. So his clicker went, and then there was a small pause be before he released, and seemed to cost him a bit. Gazoz is shooting tens for fun right now, and can't see him missing this one. Just Ooh. out. Just out. Yeah, nine just out. Confidently called by George. So. Sun getting in his eyes a little bit there, maybe. It's a long shot for him, you think. Yeah. Ten, good shot. Maybe on the X line, but... Good shooting. Like I say, when you shoot a 10 against Gazars, you think... Mm, it's probably not good enough, but it has <laughs> to be, doesn't it? At the moment. Yeah. It is a beautiful style from Gazars, in all fairness. Nine. Valadon has an opportunity. He knew it wasn't going to be in a 10 at the moment he released it. Valadon needs a 10. Valadou yeah, shoots a 10. Valadou. Well done, buddy. Gazo's practice hour here, essentially, now. Might as well shoot it in a 10. Probably going to be a 10, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what an interesting match we have ahead of us now. Um, four all going into the final set. Winner takes all. If it's a tie, it goes to a shoot off. Um, yeah, this is the final match, and we, we are being uh, blessed here with a fantastic, uh, fantastic shooting. Who do you put your money on now? Now that you've seen them shoot, you went with Valadon originally. That's a good question. It could go both ways. Yeah. Naomi, you can. Uh, you went with Valadon earlier. You have uh, given you the opportunity to change your mind going into this final set. No, I'm still. I'm still sticking with Valadon. Valadon. Naomi. I don't know. <laughs> we'll wait and see. These both these archers are shooting fantastic, uh, fantastic scores. Um, it's going to be an interesting final set. Personally, I'm hoping for uh, for a tight set. Me too, a shoot-off for yeah, the European like Championship, that like would be cool. I'd like to see a shoot-off for the European Championship. Uh, yeah, it would be interesting. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's uh, closest to the middle. I think it should be on scores, but... It should maybe. be, maybe it should be on scores the first arrow, and then if it's still tied, you could do the closest to yeah. center. I think that would make things fair a bit, but um, Valadon has the opportunity here to, uh, to put Gazoz under a little bit of pressure with his first arrow. Nine. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. It's okay. But doesn't really put the pressure on him. No. Normally a nine is like a, yeah, you're okay. But a ten here puts the pressure back on. Valadon. Just out. He's uh, still tied a, up. Yeah, as a rule, he's a little high there as well, isn't he? His bad shot tends to be high, um, which isn't a bad thing. But... Uh, Good 10, 10 from uh, Valadon. It is unconventional to be high in your bad shots. Yeah. Normally on 70 meters, the bad or the worst shots tend to be lower than the good shots. Mm. I think that's a, an advantage as well. Um, so I, 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 do, I do compound and uh, my bad shots are always the low ones. Well, here we go. That might cost him. This could, that, that arrow could cost him the championship. Valadon has a... needs a nine to win this. A nine to win the championship. He's happy with it. 10, fantastic. Comes from behind to take the championship. Clearly a happy man. Uh, Very Obviously nice shooting by him. We've still got an arrow left to shoot for Gazoz, even though we know the uh, the conclusion of this. Um, good respect from Valadon to uh, to quiet down and watch him shoot. He's clearly disappointed, but shoots a 10 with his last arrow. Uh, just under the 10, possibly. But uh, a fantastic talent in Gazoz. Uh, yeah. Was unable to uh, remember to his take name. Him. Yeah, he wasn't uh, unable to take down uh, Valadon. Uh, he is, uh, like you said, uh, an experienced champion, and uh, he can add the European Championship to his uh, 
to his scorecard, really. It's a fantastic, fantastic uh, shoot for him. He uh, qualified first, won all of his matches, and uh, and won the uh, won the championship as well. I think it's a kind gesture him from here as well. Um, you know, embracing Gazoz there. He's a, he's a young talent. Yeah. A uh, massive future ahead of him, would you agree? I do agree, yeah. <laughs> Everybody should remember his name for the next coming events. So, um, yeah, uh, I was wrong with my prediction there. Valadon takes it. Uh, Chef, 